to you guys. So stay tuned. We have a ton to cover to make sure everyone can get an entry. So this is going to be a long one. Hey guys, welcome to the Extreme Channel. My name is Mr. X. If this is your first time tuning in, you are in trouble because you are probably not going to win anything. But we are giving away a crap load of stuff. And because we're giving away so much and there is, it's so complicated, we don't have time to go over all that. So if you're really interested, go ahead and check out this video right here. This will tell you all about the rules. This will tell you how it's going to work. This will tell you what's being given away. So you can pause this, go back, watch that, and come back. You'll have plenty of time, I promise you. Two things I forgot to say during the last video when I talked about the rules. Number one is you have to be a subscriber. So I can see all the different subscribers. When I pick the winner, I'm checking the subscribe. The 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 I'm checking the subscriber list, and if you're not on there, then you can't win. Sorry. Number two, you need to pay attention really close to the other people's comments because if you comment after 10 other people got that particular question right, you're out. So you want to go up to your YouTube settings and depending whether you're mobile or desktop, it looks a little different. On comments, put them in order. So most recent, newest, first, whatever that looks like. Otherwise, YouTube kind of randomizes it. So that is extremely important. If you miss that, you might be screwed and you can leave a hater comment. That won't be on the next episode because we're not having one. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. First 10 people to answer that right win. If you get it wrong, if you answer after 10, if you uh, edit your answer, all this crap in the rules, you lose. And whoever has watched my videos uh, will have a better advantage on answering these questions. So if you get one right, you're done, you're in. You don't need to worry about it. You don't have to watch the rest of what this is probably gonna be a long video because there's 50 of these questions. So we're gonna fly by them. I'm gonna put them in print in case I speak too fast and you misunderstand. That way you can also know which ones are number one, number two, etc. So let's get started. Question number one. In a video, I talked about my son's polydactylism. That's right. What do we call that special limb? I talked about his polydactylism. What do we call that special limb? That's number one. Number two, who is my favorite turt? If you don't know what a turt is, then you haven't been watching my videos. Who is my favorite turt? I've said it in a recent video. Number three, what is my favorite candy? I said that as well. My favorite candy, number three, was listed in a recent video. Number four, there's a certain word that drives me every day. It's the thing that should drive you. I made a very big, cool video about it. Uh, so what drives me every day? It's a one word answer. Number five, where is my favorite place I've ever vacationed? I'm kind of a world traveler. This is the place I would go back in a second without hesitating. Number six, I once was in a movie theater and I had to sit on the stairs. Name that movie. So I went to the movie, sat on the stairs because they were out of seats. Name that movie. Number seven, what is the only thing that scares me? I've said it once in one review, and that's kind of a tough one, so I'll give you a hint that it, it was the Red Skull review. What is the only thing that scares me? Number eight, what is my favorite Predator movie? Number nine, what is my biggest pet peeve as a YouTuber? Biggest pet peeve as a YouTuber is the number nine question. Number 10, what is my favorite steak restaurant? I've said this recently. What is my favorite steak restaurant? Number 11, who is my favorite transformer? Number 12, which statue did I unbox on the New Year's Eve show slash New Year's show? Number 13, how many Transformer statues have I owned prior to this video? Because it's actually changed since then. Prior to this video, how many Transformer statues have I owned? 
Number 14 is a little bit different, so hang with me on this for a second. I'm going to ask a question, and there are five correct answers, which means we can have 50 entrants to just this question. So it's a lot of math on your part. So technically, this would be question 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. However, just write question 14 and write your answer. So there are five different answers. Ten people can choose each answer. So there, there can be 50 entrants on this question. One day, I'm going to have an end game where there's only five categories of statues I'm keeping. I've stated them all multiple times. What it five categories are though you only have to answer one category go ahead what are my top end game category statues all five of them which actually brings us to question 19 next which is just like the previous one 50 entrants five answers 10 answers for each uh, or 10 responses for each answer if that makes sense if not then you might not win answer a different question but you have to wait till these are answered to move on farther who are my top five favorite characters that is question 19. And again, 50 people can answer this. 10 people for each of the five characters. Go. Question 24 is when I really want to buy something, but I don't, what do we call that term? Again, you should know that from watching this channel. What do we call the term when I don't buy something I really want to? Number 25 is when I compare two different statues in a video, what do we call that? What is that term? When we do a contrast and comparison between two different statues. Number 26, what is the name of the monthly segments where we look at different topics in the pop culture and statue collecting industry that Dick Ryder was previously on? What shows were Dick Ryder, was Dick Ryder on? That is the question. What is the name of those shows? Number 27, what is the monthly segment where I talk about the com comics I read? What do we call that monthly segment? 28, what is my most anticipated custom piece of 2020? 29, what is my favorite piece in my collection? And this was the same question in the 2K sub giveaway. What is my favorite piece currently in my collection? Number 30, what is the most anticipated license piece of 2020? What is my most anticipated license piece coming out in 2020? What is my favorite license piece in my collection? So uh, that is question 31. So 29, obviously it was not a license, it's a custom. But this one, 31, what is my favorite license piece in my collection? Number 32, if I'm out of White Claw, what do I drink? If I'm out of White Claw, what do I drink? Number 33, what is my favorite autographed sports memorabilia? Which piece that I own? What is my favorite autographed sports memorabilia? 34, what is my favorite autographed movie memorabilia? So from a film, what is my favorite one? 35, what is my favorite autographed music memorabilia? Number 36, what was the first review I ever launched on YouTube? First review I ever launched on YouTube. Thirty-seven, what is the name of the monthly segment where I talk about everything that's going to occur in the next month? What is the name of that segment? Thirty-eight, what is the name of the monthly segment where I talk about everything I bought the previous month? Name that segment. What is the first collectible item I purchased that started this passion? Collectible item that I purchased that first started this passion. 
It's number 39. All right, number f- number 40 is going to be just like uh, the previous numbers where there were multiple answers. So there's actually three answers to this question. So the next 30 people that get number 40 right, you're in. And technically that qualifies for question 40, 41, and 42. But I have three autographed guitars. Who signed them? 10 people for each person who signed them. So if you see that X guitar is gone, 10 people have already answered that, answer another guitar. Number 43, how many custom Silver Surfers are currently in the Extreme Collection? And here's the hint, I haven't launched all the reviews yet. There may or may not be a review that I have or have not launched. So how many are in the Extreme Collection currently? Number 44, there will be 20 answers for. So technically, this is number 44 and 45. Uh, first, pe- there's two answers, so 10 people for each answer. Which two major major genres of statues am I getting away from? There's two collections that I'm getting away from. I've said it multiple times. Number 46 and 47 are just like that, and you can just label it number 46. I have two Dragon Ball Z statues. Name those. 20 entries, 10 for each statue, go. Number 48, what band did I say was one of the best shows I've ever seen? What band did I say was one of the best shows I've ever seen? And if you're too late to that one, I have a follow-up question with number 49. Where was that concert? Number 50, what message did I have for the haters? What consistent message did I give over and over? So that's it. This video launches on Monday, January 20th at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And it's going to stay up indefinitely. But any comments that are entered... uh, Seven days from now, so starting January 27th at 8 a.m., uh, will not be entered into the drawing. So I don't know if we're going to have 50 entries or 500, but then after I sort through these in the next few weeks, we're going to put them, uh, probably do a live show so you guys know it's fair. We'll do a randomizer and pick the top 10 winners in case winners one, two, and three don't want the prizes or they don't want to be, uh, or they don't respond. So that's how it's going down. Please re watch the video rules. I'll have a link to it here at the end to make sure you do everything correctly. And uh, let's do it. I can't wait to do this. After we give away this prize, we'll do a video on that sometime in February. We'll do a video on what the 10K sub giveaway is. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow.